Hello, Geminis. I'm just doing a quick reading. Just love messages, whatever wants to come out here. I'll still be doing my regular readings on the first as well. I just dyed my hair. That's why my, my hands are like that. So bear with me. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got, I'm aware that you're my soulmate or twin flame. You're the one. I look at your pictures often. Part of me wants to just come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere I'd know that you'd be. You're so different than anyone I've ever met. You've helped me become a better person. I feel like this person like kind of wants to claim you is kind of the energy I get where this person is, they, they've made a decision and I feel like they've chosen you. We have, I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. We have, I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating somebody else. So I feel like this person didn't feel like they were brave enough to be with you, but I feel like they're, they're, I feel like there's this sense of urgency. Like, I feel like maybe you gave them an ultimatum or maybe there was a conversation that took place or it's, it could just be the passage of time. But I'm getting a strong sense of urgency where this person feels like it's going to be too late if they don't come back now. You might have even said, hey, I'm not waiting. I'm dating other people. I'm not doing this anymore. Like, there, I feel like there's there's something that just, you know, lit a fire under this person where this, this person just feels like they just, they have to move now. They have to take some kind of action towards you. Because they didn't feel brave enough. I feel like they were kind of, like, on the fence. Like, they wanted to take action towards you, but there, there was anxiety. There was fear. They didn't know how it was going to go. And I feel like the fear of losing you is now stronger than the fear of commitment to them because it's like they're afraid that you're going to end up with somebody else if they don't take action now and this person feels like you're the one so they don't want to allow that to happen i regret regret letting you go i never should have left you came on strong and i wasn't ready for it you're so kind and empathetic and thoughtful and it's inspiring me to open up to you I want to take things slow and get to know you better. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. You come off uninterested and detached. Yeah, I kind of get the sense that it's like with this person, I just feel like they... They just feel like they have to act now. I just get a strong sense of like anxiety where they're like, okay, it's now or never. I have to do this or... You know, like they can't just keep spying on you. It's like they're observing you. They're spying. They're reading your social media posts. But I feel like it's just not enough for them anymore. It's like they need to, they need to come forward. I'm hearing that song. What is that song? I'm tired of using technology. I need you right, right here in front of me or something. It's an old, older song. Not like old, old, but it's like what a decade old or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm afraid that you've moved on by now. I communicate with you through songs and movies. Yeah, I feel like there's a sense. It's kind of like this person's aware that you're you're at a crossroads in your life where you're, I feel like you're moving forward just in general. And they know that they're about to get left behind. So they're panicking and they're trying to, to catch up as soon as they can. And being watched, There's I want to reach out, but there's people around me. I looked for love in all the wrong places. I want to be open, honest, and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. Yeah, I just keep getting that, that now or never energy. Like they know whatever you're doing is working. Some of you maybe are going through a glow up where it's like your your energy has changed, where you're, you've made it clear to this person that you're not waiting anymore is basically what I'm feeling here. Whatever the case might be, it's like whether they saw you with somebody else or whether they're just looking at your social media post and you're going out more, you're living your best life. Maybe you recently started uh, exercising or you started, uh, like I'm hearing like dance classes for somebody or you started, um, it's like, like you just, you're, you're doing stuff. You're, you're not, you know what I mean? Like they can feel that energy difference where you're not sitting at home alone, bored, depressed, 
Like you're going out, you're, you're living your best life. You're open to new experiences. You're open to meeting new people. You're open to, you know, you're in, you're going through this very spiritual phase of your life where it's like, you're just open for what the universe wants to bring you. And this person really feels that energy. They feel like they're, they know they're about to get left behind if they don't hurry up and catch up to you. They know this is a, it feels like an ultimatum. Like maybe your spirit guides even gave them an ultimatum if you didn't do it yourself or, or they, it could just be something in their head that they saw or just the energy that they're picking up, but they just get this sense that it's like they either get you back now or they lose you forever. They don't feel like they're going to have another chance with you either. They feel like this, they feel like the door is, you know, they're hoping the door is still open now, but they feel like if they don't do it now that it's like, they're not going to, they feel like you're going through so many life changes that you just wouldn't give them another chance in the future. Basically I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. I'm returning. I want to be with you now. Yeah, they're getting themselves out of stagnation because they have no other choice. They're thinking about something that you said here. And it's like they're, I've thought about going on vacation with you. I will always find you. I will always come back for you. I'm afraid that you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. I want to cuddle with you. I can't handle being apart from you any longer. Yeah, that's the, the, that's the major energy. It's like it's they have to take action now and they know it. So, you know, and it might be really it might be like a drunken text. It might be something spur of the moment that you're not really expecting where they're like, OK, I just they're, they're working themselves up to take that leap of faith. They're like, well, it's now or never. I got to do it. So they, they might they might they might need that liquid courage or they might um some of them might even come to your door just because they're afraid that you're going to reject them over social media. Like some of them might just show up. Some of them might try to be somewhere that they know you're going to be. Like if you're going out to a, like if you have like a certain club night or something that you go to, they might try to come see you there. Like they don't want you to be able to say no to them, I guess. They don't want you to, they don't want to give you a chance to hang up on them. Like they want you to hear them out and hear what they have to say. So Anyway, I hope that helps somebody, and if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. That's right below in the description box. Thank you for watching.